Yo guys and welcome to my review of episode 44 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush. Um, and I mean, this is how you do a non-dueling episode right. Uh, this was so, so good. And I mean, it sets up the other half of this arc so well. The fact that we see almost every character back... I, I, I mean, I think the only ones we didn't see in this episode are like Mitsuko, Ishida Glot, and Shubaha. I think those are the only like, you know, of the characters we've seen in the past like three arcs that didn't show up. But I mean, everyone else did. Even for one second, uh, you know, the Jersey Devils coming in to... Uh, uh, to help and uh, Chupataro murdering uh, like 10 people so it's really great and you know showing off those abilities of the aliens that we haven't seen in a while um, it, it really does set this arc up really well and uh, so let's I guess uh, start from the beginning so we start with uh, where we left off last time with uh, Ron Ron and uh, Muda Wellgear and Yurt Damar uh, and it seems like uh, Zuijo has had this whole thing again planned and that he specifically told uh, Muda Wellgear what to tell the Yurt Damar that so Presumably he knows that Yurdamar is a very childish entity, whether that's from it being a part of Yuhi before and kind of taking in his childish personality, or being something completely different, we don't know. Um, but, you know, the fact that he kind of knew it had that personality and Mundavalgir told uh, Dear Damar, that Zvijo has something fun planned for him. That's interesting. And uh, we know that there is, before going to Zvijo, Dear Damar wants to stop by somewhere else. Where that is exactly, we don't know. It might be going to Yuhi first. Uh, it's possible that it might instead of taking over Ron Ron, take over Yuhi. That's kind of my only thought right now, right? Because again, we have, we still have that silhouette of Yuhi from um, Jump Festa. So I feel like either it's going to just leave Ron Ron and take a shape of its own that looks similar to Yuhi, or it's just going to take over Yuhi on its own. So it's one of those two things but that that's very interesting and you know if that's not where it's going uh, i'm very interested to find out where exactly it is um now as far as the main plot of this episode um th this is why i really do like non-dueling episodes uh as obviously as fun as dual episodes are these use these are used kind of to build the world more and that's exactly what this one did um Yudi is talking about uh, all of these different planets in the Velgir star cluster and explain to us a little bit of the war that the uh, Dudi Dukas uh, are kind of a third party that hasn't picked a side yet, which uh, that's very fascinating to me. Um, which uh, at that point, that could mean that the whole war might be decided by who they side with and uh, if Udius doesn't do things right next episode uh, at presenting rush duels that could be a bit of a problem and uh, one thing that I haven't seen lots of people talk about is uh, I remember in the first arc especially the first arc at least uh, where a lot of people were kind of underwhelmed by Udius in the sense that even though he has been through war, that he felt a little bit, uh, you know, dumber. 
but we all said, oh, it's just because, I mean, he is uh, in a new world, or at least a new planet, he doesn't know how things work here. Uh, but in this episode, I mean, he really took charge, and it feels like we're finally getting that more serious Udius. I do expect us that after this arc ends, and we get to the start of Season 2, he'll probably get a bit more like he was before, and... It's not to say that the whole, you know, UDS that we've had up until now is completely gone. We still see a little bit of him uh, here, but, I mean, especially towards that, like, that end point where he is uh, putting the gavel charger, however it's called, you know, and explaining to Yuhi that, uh, how it works, uh, and the fact that he took charge, uh, you know, to basically told Asana, um, Asaka to move that he is going to have to take care of it, which makes sense. Um, and I think everything that he told the fleet commander, I mean, it, it was very smart. Just instantly tell him that they landed here uh, on accident, uh, that they don't have any ill intentions, because he knows that if this is done in the wrong way, that fleet could very easily turn to the other side. Now, what's funny is they may still not have done it, um, because as we know, the whole point of the uh, fleet commander is that he's indecisive. And uh, I guess the big question is, how much persuading does he need until he can actually make a decision? Because uh, we see that he's going to duel next week, so somehow UDS did persuade him to duel, and we presume that he's going to persuade them to uh, join them by using rush duels. That we can kind of see where he's going to see the power of rush duels and realize that it could be something to end the war, so he joins UDS. But, uh, you know, th this is really just such an interesting point in the show where Yudias, this character who we've watched for 43 episodes, you know, and we've seen this kind of almost childish like uh, uh, one part of him where he doesn't understand things, right, and just finding new things makes him so interesting and fascinated. We see him now at this point where he's super serious. Uh, because he realizes now that this is his home planet, that this is now, in some ways, the end uh, of the everything. So, such a such a fascinating point in the show, and uh, I'm really excited to see where it goes. And I do hope we see a little bit more of this new serious Udius, because you know, finally seeing him take charge in this show uh, is really cool. And uh, obviously the whole thing with the Erdamar, with Zuijo. We also still have, you know, the Lug and Yuga somewhere out there. Uh, whether they'll join, well, uh, the Battle of Rattle Gear or they're gonna turn up sometime in Season 2. We don't know that, but I mean, it's such a fascinating point in the show right now that I'm really, really excited, and uh, there's so many theories that could happen right now. So, yeah, just a really, really great non-dueling episode, and it makes me really excited to how they're gonna end this season. Um, but uh, you guys, tell me your own theories. What are your some thoughts, uh, or what do you expect to happen? Uh, what do you think about the Erdamar and where it, it, it's going, and... Uh, do you like this more serious studios that we seem to be getting, the one that takes charge? Uh, let me know and I guess I'll see you guys!